Good morning, and welcome to another one of Drew's book review. So today's review will be on Allegiant. Uh, so book three of the Divergent trilogy by Veronica Roth. Uh, so as those who have read it know, it's about a dystopian future where society has been divided up into different factions or classes of individuals based on uh, their personality and unique traits. And there's brewing war between the fra- factions happening and those who are effectively factionless, which are the equivalent of the street pe- street people, homeless, drug-addicted people that we see in the world today. Uh, so, of course, we have our main characters, Tris and Four. Now, uh, this this book, it's it's kind of flips back and forth between the perspectives of Triss and Four or Tobias, as he's otherwise known, and their uh, perspective on the story and events that are happening. So as we go back between and forth between the chapters, it switches viewpoints. So you get a really interesting uh, perspective from both both characters' viewpoints, which is really awesome. Really like that about this book. Um, but I have to say, this is probably my favorite book of the Divergent trilogy. I think it is by far the best book in the trilogy, very easily. Uh, what I really like about it is we, the setting of the story, it kind of moves out of the city of Chicago, uh, out beyond the borders of the city, place where nobody knows what's happening or what the world's really like at all. So in the last book, of course, we're hinted at the world outside of Chicago, but this really takes us outside of Chicago to the setting of the old airport in Chicago, or O'Hare Airport, as it's known currently, where Triss and Tobias, or Ford, soon discover that the truth about their world is far different than they ever imagined it to be. And they find themselves being told what this truth is from the government's perspective, or the borough of genetics perspective on what's going on. So they soon learn that Chicago and other cities like it are nothing more than a big experiment to divide what they call genetically pure people and genetically damaged individuals. And this is really more of a... uh, coming of age, coming to a recognition of the truth of what your world has been and what the truth is behind everything you were ever led to believe in and how that just comes completely crashing down around you and you're having to re-examine the truth and reality of the very nature of the existence that you've been taught to believe. In a way, it's almost like someone who's coming out of a cult being raised in a cult and learning that their cult is in fact the terrible bad guy in the world and that everything that you were taught to believe is false and wrong and having to reevaluate and reformat your very way of thinking in order to come to a recognition and back to a stable viewpoint on life. And it's just really fascinating to see how everything just breaks down and has to be rebuilt for these characters. And it's something that I could relate to because I've been through a similar experience myself in my life. So that, that really, really helps uh, with this book and why probably I find it to be just a fascinating read, just a really, really good story. And I absolutely loved it. One of the big focuses of the storyline is the idea of altered memories and having a chemical manipulation of our minds to alter the very essence of who we are and the very memories in which we think are real could actually be these ideas that have been programmed into our mind after our true identities have been completely wiped and erased. And that's that's not only a scary idea, it's fascinating. And the power of the drugs to completely manipulate our psychological mindset and identities. And and that's something that's really interesting because we do have these kind of drugs today. We have drugs that have the ability to change our very psychological mindset and way of thinking uh, within psychiatric medications and drugs, which is why they're used on mental health patients because they want to be able to change how an individual thinks or perceives the world in order to treat their mental illness. So the very concept a such a drug in and of itself is not just pure fantasy, but in reality based in theoretical modern-day medical science, which is just 
in and of itself a uh, very very interesting aspect to use within a story and, and I love that aspect of it I mean there are no new stories out there but there really is new ways of telling telling stories and new ways to explore different concepts and ideas and that's something that I think happens very well in the Divergent series of books and something that I really like about it and I totally totally recommend this book and uh, of course recommend the entire series by Veronica Roth I think it's well worth a read and I for once certainly enjoyed it uh, and if you haven't read it pick it up read it you're gonna love it I'm confident of that so again that is Allegiant by Veronica Roth it is a good great read definitely check it out and of course read uh, Divergent and Insurgent before you read Allegiant but this by far is the best of the series and top one of the top books that I've read in a while really enjoyed it uh, so as always I hope you enjoyed the review and uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment below next up we are going to be picking up the dagger and the coin by Daniel Abraham the dragon's path so look forward to getting the review out on this one uh, so again thank you so much for watching and I hope you have yourself a great day and as always links to my Facebook and Twitter feed will be in the description below. Thanks. Have a great day.